going to get to express your own photo voice, which is your own point of view about a social issue or a community issue or an issue that's important to you through the use of photos. And I have some possible ideas as well here on screen. These are the 17 sustainable development goals. You could choose one of them as your theme as well. It is completely up to you. Uh, later on, I'm gonna show you how to use a, a digital tool in order to create your own photo voice through a photo collage. And if you're unable to go out and take your own photos, then I'm gonna show you how to search for images online that you're free and able to use as a part of your project. So we're talking about taking photos here today, and I thought it'd be interesting to look at some just general basic photography tips. So the first tip that we're gonna look at is obviously exposure. So you don't wanna take a picture where the background is too bright or too dark. So you wanna avoid that. Second, perspective. We wanna look at your area of interest or your subject of interest from multiple angles. So I took a picture of the bridge from the side, then I knelt down and took a ground level view of the bridge. And then I took another view of the bridge just along the railing. Some other things that I found online that were good for showing perspective. See this video, uh, sorry, this photo of the building where we're looking up. You see, looking down the stairs, we get a different perspective. Uh, we can also use natural reflections um, off the water here to get a different perspective or different view of the trees. And the last photo that you see here, instead of just taking a picture of the sun, they used something uh, that's already in their environment to actually frame out their subject of interest. So they use that hook there to give the sun its own natural frame. In the picture. Third tip, we can look at wide, medium and close shots. So the wide shot here gives you a little bit more context and gives you more indication what your environment is like. So this was a cliff alongside the road. And then the medium shot gives you a little bit more detail. And as you can see, I was interested in this shot because there is what looks to be an eagle's nest, I believe, in this shot. And trying to get a more close up uh, image, a more detail, I took that third shot that you see there. And we can actually see a little bit more detail of the nest and actually see that in the nest there was a plastic bag. And it's unfortunate to see that because we get to see how we impacted this particular species of bird. Like other tip is the rule of thirds. So oftentimes when we take photos, we're always trying to center what we're interested in right in the middle of our photo. The rule of thirds is that what we should do is to divide our actual photograph into thirds horizontally and thirds vertically, and then place what we're interested in, our elements, along those lines. The argument is that it looks more natural this way, more organic, and it provides more energy and more tension and it gives a, a better overall feeling to the actual photo when we use the rule of thirds. So just review some of the basic tips when you go out and you're looking at your photos or images. We looked at exposure, perspective, getting a wide, medium, or close-up shot, and the rule of thirds. I do have some links here as well that you will see if you want to uh, look at any more of the tips and actually look at things a little bit further, like the rule of thirds, which can sometimes be a little bit difficult to follow, but I try to follow them as best I can. So if you can't go out and take your own photos to be a part of this project, what you can do, you can search online for images that you can use. So I'm going to select the theme of climate change here and just search for some photos. So I click on images here and I need to go over to settings, advanced search, scroll all the way down to the bottom and look at usage rights. I need to worry about copyright law and what images I'm allowed to use for my actual project. So I want to Find those images which are free to use, share, or modify. Those I will be able to use as part of my project. Click on event search. You will find which ones you have that you're allowed to use. Scroll through, find the ones you want. If I wanted to use this one, I'm going to click on it. Maybe go to the site, look at it a little bit more. Yes, I like it. So then just right click and I'm going to save image as. Now, this is going to be uh, in my, uh, I'm going to put it on my desktop here and I'm going to call it Climate One because that's going to be my first image that's going to be a part of this theme for my project. Just click on save. 
go back and do the exact same search again for any other photos that you want to use as part of your project and that you're allowed to use as part of your project. So now you have your photos that you want to express your photo voice or point of view, or you found the images online that you want to use. Now it's our turn to go ahead and create a photo collage. I have four options here for you, and I just uh, put the link to where these four options are described down below on the how to howtogeek.com, so you can investigate those a little more. There are so many other options available. If you are comfortable and familiar with another option, by all means, go ahead and use it. I'm just going to show you this option here, PhotoJet. So it brings you to the main screen that you see here. Even if you do not have an account, you still need to click on login and then click on sign up. You're going to use your email and create a password. After you do that, you just click on the green sign up and you're good to go. I already have an account, so I'm just going to click on login, put in my email address and my password and log in. And it brings me to this homepage right here. Now there's three things that you can do. You can create a design from scratch. You can make a collage from the templates that they provide, or you can edit a photo. I'm going to show you how to edit a photo and then make a collage as well today. So if I click on edit a photo, this pop-up screen occurs. I can click the little X up right here or just click anywhere off that pop-up window and it goes away. Go to open. I'm going to open a picture from my computer and I'm going to select the wide shot of the cliff with the nest that I showed you earlier. And as you can see, is not rotated or is not in the proper orientation. So I can come over here and look and change a lot of different factors about this photo. So obviously I need to rotate it. And now once I have it in the proper orientation, I would just click on apply and that edit takes effect. Now I can go ahead and change a lot of different things, but I'm just gonna click on auto enhance here and let it auto generate a lot of the best options here for all these properties. Once I'm satisfied, I would click on download here and I can either download or print but right now I'm going to download give it a name so this is the wide cliff shot and I'm just going to click on download now once I click download again it will be found in my downloads folder and I can move it to wherever I want later on going to get rid of this pop-up window by hitting the little X here and now I'm ready I showed you how to edit just a little bit here of one photo. So let's go ahead now and actually create our collage. You go over to the top of the left hand side of the screen and from the edit drop down here, we would select collage. So there's a lot of different options, templates that you can use, the classic collage, the creative collages, and some other ones down below. I'm going to create a 3D collage here. And so I'm gonna click on that and then you can scroll through the options that you want. Anything that you see here with the little crown, that's the premium options. You won't be able to use those, but there's a lot of different free options here. I'm going to select this one. So this is a three picture collage that you see here. It does have some text on it. If you didn't like the text, you could just click on the text here and remove it by just replacing the backspace. Or if you want, you can actually change text so I'm just changing the text here to um, I'm just gonna call this cliffhanger because I'm going to show the three pictures of the cliff with the uh, the bird's nest that I talked about earlier so any other places that you see text you can just select it and then hit the uh, backspace key and it'll go away so now I want to put in my three photos so I would click on my first area pops up to add the photo and you would just go and find the photo that you want to add. So I'm going to go to my downloads and use the one that I just um, changed and uh, did a little bit of editing on. So right now, as you can see, that is perfect. I'm okay with that. I can, if I want, do some changes or perform some changes with the property or effect here and have a little look, depending on what you want, you can do a lot of things here in terms of editing as well. I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to add my next picture. So I'm just going to select here, add photo, and now find where uh, my photos are located. They're all right here. So I have my wide angle. Now I'm gonna use my um, 
let me be my medium angle picture of the cliff and right now here it is and again it's this case i need to rotate it to put it in the proper orientation uh, i'm good i'm good with everything else so i'm just going to select anywhere on my design and accept that photo so now my third and last photo is my close-up so select add photo and go down here and actually choose the close-up photo and click open so now i gotta rotate this as well and if i really want i can even get uh, a little bit more of a zoom in picture here by just double clicking on that photo and as you can see here i get a slider kind of scale and i can change the zoom so if i come over to the actual picture i can move it down and zoom in a little bit more in on the actual bird's nest here and zoom in a little bit more so I get a little bit more detail and just click on done and now as you can see it zooms in onto the area that I want it to uh, change any of the effects I certainly can do that or just click anywhere in my design and uh, that uh, photo pop-up window will disappear so some other interesting things that you could do to your collage to uh, design it differently than what you see here is you could just change the uh, clip art that you see here to a different color so i'm going to click just outside that picture here and what will pop up is this clip art function i can change the tint of this right now it's black so let's say i want to do it this green color and i would just select any around my design and now i've changed the color of the outside borders here as you can see and I can do the same with all of the other ones maybe I'll change them all roughly to the same color completely up to you maybe they're all different colors you can do whatever you want now if I want it as well I can go over here and change the background so maybe I'll change it just to uh, this orange color here just select that and you can if you want again change the color of any of this text that you see here or change the text itself so I can select all of this text and look at the properties look at the font and look at the colors here maybe I want to change it to I don't know maybe um, similar blue as what I have for the borders so I can have that maybe then I want to make it a little bit bigger I can certainly do that and if I didn't like this font in particular, maybe I can change it to any other font that I want and have all kinds of different properties and effects that you see here. I can also just take it and rotate if I wanted to, put it in a different location and have it like that. I can also add different clip art here. So some of the free features that you see, um, there are some uh, animal clip arts here. For the premium features, you're looking at um, a little I guess uh, different pet features and different uh, weather features so you can get a lot of different things here and add that to your um, design so if I just wanted to all you need to do is select for instance this bird design you have it here and I can take it and resize it and I can rotate it around and have it any way that I want and you can have the clip art being a part of your actual design if that's what you want I don't want it right now, so I'm just going to remove it just by hitting the uh, delete button there when it was selected. So now if you're happy with your design, you would just click on download and we're going to download it and save it on our computer. So this is my photo collage. I'm happy with it. I can change the size of it, small or medium. I'm just going to leave it as small right now and click on download and click on download and now I have that saved on my computer. You can also click on share if you wanted to and you can share your creation any way that you want as you see here. Basically this is it in terms of creating a photo collage um, that uh, I've done with the images that I took alongside the road for that nest that I talked about earlier um, and again you could use any application that you want, completely up to you. I just use this one just as a demonstration.